Don't worry, I've done it before. Yes, cameraman. Talk us through your car, Paul. What's going on, people? So, yeah, I'm Drive Check. I'm normally the person behind the camera. But, yeah, today, MX5 RS. It's a Japanese import. Um, so, a lot of people are probably thinking what's going on in the engine bay. We are doing a prototype cold air intake. So, probably ignore that because it won't make sense to a lot of people. <laughs> uh, eventually, we are going to get it 3D printed and done properly. So, yeah, enough with that. It's got a 4 to 1 manifold. Uh, it's a 1.8 litre 6 speed, it's got an LSD, a Torsen diff, of course rear wheel drive, uh, it's a 1999 car, uh, you don't really see many of these. As far as I'm aware there's only a few of these in the UK, um, so yeah, today we're going to just be sending it sideways and that's pretty much what these cars are made for. It yeah. does look like a proper little go-kart man, on camera you won't be able to tell much but that car is sat very very low to the ground. But yeah, other than that, obviously it's on 15s, uh, I've got a wider tyre profile on the front and we've got some drift tyres at the back, semi-slicks. Um, other than that, I mean, it's had a full respray, uh, eventually it is going to get um, a deeper black. The rear of the car, a lot of people do like it because I have gone for the more unique American imported carbon Miata tail lights. We're running the dual stainless steel catback exhaust with a diffuser. Um, again, a lot of people think why does this car look a lot better than other MX-5s it's because of the hardtop spoiler me personally without the spoiler it looks completely off it looks a bit more like a bubble car than anything so yeah with the spoiler it kind of follows the lines of the car and it looks amazing pretty sure it's got an angle kit uh, not something that's not done being done by myself but I've been told it's got an angle kit uh, it's got a quick release the white interior um, six o'clock dials again uh, these were only made for the Japanese market but yeah, lovely, lovely mate. Right, let's get cracking then, come on, man. Let's go. Bit of sideways, pal. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Don't worry, I've done it before. See what this uh, Mazda MX-5 seen. Is that recording?
I'm not too bad, is it? You're all right, you know. Cameraman's a bit of a driver, man. <laughs> Here you go. Well, you might as well hold on to that now. Go on. Oh, it's under the bit of off-roading. Oh, they won't know how to get to it. That's the thing. Yeah, man. I think I'm gonna stop the camera here so you man don't know where this location is. <laughs> or to get to it. Hidden gem. Hidden gem. Right then. Listen, for me I give this car a solid seven. Seven. Seven bro. Fair enough. I'll take that. The reason why I wouldn't give it the remainder full 10 10 is because I do feel a bit claustrophobic. So that's why this car is like a weekend car, you know. Japanese, small yeah. people. Yeah, so yeah. it was made for small people. But when the roof's off, in, then it's perfectly fine. Then it's alright. But obviously, <laughs> the, the country that we're in. <laughs> yeah. No, I barely get to tear the roof off. Very unreliable. That's why I've not got a soft top normally. I mean, MX5s, they have soft tops, so you can just throw it back whenever. Yeah. But, but listen, as a as a car job, fun in, it ticks the boxes, honestly. It's a fun, fun car. And yeah, man, if you're in the market for getting one, but if you have one, then big up yourself, Mazda MX-5. <laughs> it's a good car, mate. I'm going to cut this one here, short and sweet. Yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, share and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.